I think I'm the only original. We came here in 1956 and we found there were just four flats left that hadn't been taken and we managed to choose one in Bowering Court. At that time, when you, there was, there was a few, just about three trees and the rest was bare earth. My husband got onto the residence committee being an electrical and mechanical engineer, he dealt with all the lighting and um, it meant that but with him being on the committee, we therefore knew a lot of people. I think Span had a very nice idea of a sort of being a community. Now I think people are so busy and there are less people here during the day than there used to be. We loved living here. John and I had no children, so there was no need to move into a bigger place. And because we were sailing as well, it was very nice to be out of London within 20 minutes half an hour. We'd been sailing around Greece, we'd been to Turkey, it goes to Budapest. We've done the whole of England and Scotland and Wales in the caravan. Spain, Portugal, France, Andorra, Italy, all the way down to the south of Italy. Camped in a volcano. <laughs> And then uh, we've done Australia, New Zealand, Los Angeles, Hawaii, a lot of places actually. Do you have a kind of favourite memory of living here? Mm, oh dear, I think just the fact that we've had 60 years and it's been, it's been so good and we've enjoyed the people. Uh, I've enjoyed John doing things when he was on the committee and um, in fact, it was quite surprising when we had the AGM two years ago. It's the only time we've ever had a minute's silence for a member of the community. And even now, I mean, you know, you still tend to say hello to everybody and you get the hellos back and you, you know people and they drop in and see you. Well, they're not at the moment because I'm not quite sure how to invite them. <laughs> that is one disadvantage after since John died. I, I, People just don't drop in.